welcome you again to another session. Dear participants, in this session, we want to discuss steps in writing social science research. In conducting social science research, there are obvious steps that must not be missed. A social scientist is a procedural scientist in the sense that procedures are so important and should not be ignored. The first thing that must be done in writing social science research, in conducting social science research, is to identify a research problem. How do one identify a research problem? Research problems are identified through effective study of one's environment. It's not ideal for research problems to be given or donated to a researcher. A researcher should be able to look at his or her environment and identify pressing needs. These research problems are now converted to research topics and structured in a way that they can be studied. When you identify this problem and get a topic, your research topic will now aid your literature search. There are several approaches to searching for literature. One can search through Google, ResearchGate, or Sylvia Scopus, Web of Science, and several other knowledge-based database data centers for literature that are related to your research topic. These literatures will help you guide your introduction to the conclusion of your work. Now, in writing your introduction, you must be able to give a contextual background of your study. When we say contextual background, we are looking at what used to be. What was the situation before now? That picture is important before you delve into any other aspect of your study. Then do your problem statement. Please, problem statement is simple. The difference between what is and what should be. It is this difference between what is and what should be that is called the research gap. And that is the anchor point of every study. From your problem statement, if effectively done, a researcher should be able to provide study objectives. Study objectives. They are specific, specific items, specific listing of issues that are to be solved, issues that are to be determined, ascertained, as they relate to the, re the research topic. Please ensure that your study objectives are connected to the research questions because it's the research questions that would give you the clue to your subject objectives. So, for this is the first part of our discuss because here we are looking at basically the introductory aspect. Please, we encourage everyone to please subscribe to the channel and then if you have questions, you can raise them in the comment section. Also, like and share the link to as many persons who may be interested in our discussion. Thank you.